I'm going to show you the difference between the same and similar rounds for both the 22 long rifle and the 22 WMR or mag from guns with the same length barrels and even the same gun. I'm going to shoot into ballistic gel. Expired hams. So you can see the difference between these rounds and the different caliber. Now I'm also going to show you the difference in recoil between these two and more. You should have all the info that you need to determine what you think about the difference between the 22 long rifle and the 22 mag and a pistol for potential self-defense and or hunting. Check it out, folks, and decide. 822. 1243. 1235. I'm Drew Case. Welcome to Beyond Seclusion, where I only give you my honest opinion, and it is what it is. Now, what is the purpose of using a gun for self-defense? Is it to instantly kill, like when we're hunting, you know, one shot, one kill, as fast as possible? Or is it different? Or is it more to instantly stop an attack, incapacitate, and kill if necessary? Now, for many, the two are going to be the same, and for others, they may be very different. Now, this is where and why the entire debate comes from on stopping power or punch with using a gun for self-defense, especially for pistols. What about the 22 long rifle? What about the 22 mag? Lots of debate there, too. Both are rimfire, and many consider it less reliable and without any stopping power. So then what are reasons for wanting to use a 22 long rifle or mag? Easy. Size and recoil. You can't get much smaller than the 22 for concealed carry. You know, look at this North American Arms Mini Revolver, which uh, uses both 22 long rifle and 22 mag. Of course, then you have Ruger's LCP2, and this is really small, especially for semi-auto. As far as I know, it's about one of the smallest and lightest semi-autos that you have. We don't have anything this small yet for the 22 mag. Now, I'm going to say I have some of the best, most comprehensive 22 long rifle reviews out there as far as terminal ballistics for self-defense. Now, I have done many reviews on the 22 long rifle as an option for self-defense, and you would be surprised at the results. A lot of folks have given it a second look after watching those reviews. You know, the, now, one of the biggest advantages of the 22 long rifle is recoil, size, weight, ability to practice, practice, practice for cheap, and accuracy. Now, one thing that nobody debates is that accuracy or shot placement is king even with a 22 long rifle i have not done much with the 22 wmr or mag now the 22 mag was designed for a rifle much more than the 22 long rifle now how much difference is there between the two out of the pistols that's the purpose of this review Let's compare the two with the same length barrels with a variety of ammo and measure the feet per second, foot pounds of energy, gel tests, recoil, penetration depths, fragmenting and mushrooming, and finally shoot some expired hams to see what they do. Do you get more punch from the 22 mag pistol compared to the 22 long rifle? And if so, how much and at what cost? Let's find out. Real quick, before we do that, take a look at the difference in the recoil between these two in slow-mo. Is that gonna have any impact on your decision which to carry well i think that's going to depend on what we discover in this video feet per second um, terminal velocity terminal ballistics you know the gel test the ham test all that but it is a factor 
to consider in the broad picture. Okay, now take a quick look at some video I did from a previous review with the LCP2. You can compare that to the current review out of the longer barrels. And when we look at the 22 long rifle, out of my little tiny Ruger LCP with a what, two inch barrel, we still have almost the exact same performance you know, well, five and a half inches, but out of a much smaller gun. Um, and actually the spread pattern, you know, is almost, almost the same, maybe a little bit bigger. You know, but there's three shots, but that's, I think that's pretty amazing. Now this is one of the three fragments, equal fragments from the CCI segmenting that have about six inches of penetration. The other two we're looking at 10 and 12 inches of penetration. Okay, so with the 32 segmented, um, you know, we really didn't get any deeper penetration, not on the gel. Okay, so we got about six inches, you know, pretty much the same as before, about, you know, one and a half, one and a quarter inches before we start to separate. And then the same thing with the stingers, you know, we've got about 10 inches of penetration, um, really with minimal mushrooming. We can even just see from here that it, it really hasn't mushroomed much, um, pretty much a straight Okay, from the very top fragment to the bottom fragment, you know, so we're getting about a three inch cone versus 10 inches penetration. Okay, now let's take a look at the 22 mag rounds. Check this out. Okay, I'm going to be honest, that had a totally different effect. That's the entrance site. Um, I actually, I, d I didn't expect that. Um, there's the exit. Hey folks, are you enjoying this review? If you are, help support the channel. Hit that subscribe button. This helps more than just about anything. It's simple, quick, costs you nothing. Not a zip, zero, nothing. So hit that button. Keep the reviews coming. Now, if you have not visited my webpage, you should for many reasons, like my discount codes for some of the great companies, including ammo, guns, and gear. I have a list of the companies that I use the most and recommend. At the bottom of the page is a list of current discount codes ranging anywhere from 5 to 15% off anything in your cart. Now, you should be interested in my crazy, stupid deal subscription. Here are some of the deals that I found in the past. And when I find these, I now have the ability to share in an instant with everyone that subscribes. And I blast them out in an email as soon as I find them. It costs you nothing. Unsubscribe at any time. I have saved folks hundreds, even thousands of dollars. Don't take my word. Read the comments. It works. It's awesome. And it costs nothing. If you follow my channel and you shop on Amazon, you can help support and keep the reviews coming by going on to Amazon through my link. Anything and everything you purchase by doing so helps support the channel. You can literally buy toilet paper through my link and it helps support the channel and the reviews. Simply save the link to your phone or your computer and shop as you always do. 
it check out my highly rated online courses. They come with a 30 day money back guarantee. You got nothing to lose. Literally thousands have found them helpful. Read the reviews and see for yourself. Here and check out the cooking tips page. There are some awesome recipes on there, good food, and it can literally save you thousands of dollars a year. Thanks for your help. Couldn't do it without you. Okay, we have two very different looking hams. This is the segmenting hollow point. Um, it it kind of it kind of just liquefied. Um, trying to think we we don't have the penetration okay this is i think the the back side we've got a fragment hole coming out there we've got a hole there we've got a few holes but it's the in between and then we have clearly some exit holes with the punch okay and the entrance actually surprised me the most but sort of the in-between, you know, there's clearly a difference between the two. You know, so that's, it's going to be a debate and everybody's going to have their opinion. But you have not the penetration, but the expansion and the fragmentation with less penetration versus, you know, the, the penetration, but no fragmentation, some mushrooming um, and, you know, going out the backside you know, that's for you to decide. If, you know, you really can't decide, you can always simply stagger them. Um, you know, segmenting hollow point, punch. Segmenting hollow point, punch. And So that's the 22 mag. Honestly, I was a little surprised with the results. Now let's check it out with the 22 long rifle and see what we get. Okay, that's very different than we had with the mag. We did have exiting. Um, we'll take a look at the ham here. Okay, so for the most part, the ham pretty much remained intact. That's That surprised me. There is a, a huge noticeable difference between the punch in the long rifle and the punch out of the magnum. Average depth about nine and a half inches. Okay, so I just fired nine shots of the Stinger in here, and we've got you know pretty much about eight, eight and a half inches of penetration. I gotta say that actually surprises me. They all look really well mushroomed. Okay, so right off the bat, you notice a huge difference with the stinger and the punch. The entrance on the stinger, okay, we hit bone pretty fast there. Um, but yeah, and then we have, we do have exiting on the back. Let's flip it over. You know, for me, um, that's a pretty obvious winner. There's a huge, huge difference. Do we have you know, as much penetration, no. You decide, though, what you think mushrooming versus 
penetration, I would say the proof is in the ham. Okay, so the segmenting, we have, you know, clear holes. It's not as noticeable as the stinger. Now, they were kind of more placed in the center. We can cut that open. We do have exit fragmentation, actually quite a few exits. Let's, uh, let's open this up. Okay, so if we check this out, there's quite a bit of internal Okay, this just contained kind of more inside the ham than the stinger, you know. I don't know, guys. You decide what you think, you know. I think the stinger absolutely on the hams looks like the winner. I still like the fragmenting. Um, but anyway, it is what it is, and as I say, the proof is in the ham. Okay, it is what it is. You decide what you think. Now let's put some rounds through the same gun, okay, my North American Arms Sidewinder with the interchangeable cylinders and the same exact barrel. How much punch will we get with this little tiny pocket gun, 22 long rifle versus 22 mag? Let's find out. Okay, it's really interesting. Uh, we can tell, if you look really closely, you can see the punch, which is the silver bullets, and then you can see sort of the copper, which is the stinger, and we actually have better penetration with the stinger. Um, two of the stingers match up with the deepest penetrating punch, and then we even exceed that. We'll measure those out and put that in the data. What I want to do now is I want to try one of the... CCI segmenting hollow points and see if it will fragment or segment out of the mini revolver. So the 22 WMR punch out of the Sidewinder, interesting results. We have nine inches, nine and a half inches, and then we have an exit here. I'm just going to say 10 and a half. It exits just a little bit before that, but that would be pretty consistent. What's interesting is, is the, the penetration with the mag out of the mini revolver is actually less than the stinger and the punch or equivalent. There also does not appear to be any mushrooming or fragmentation. We'll take a look at that. What I want to do here real quick is I'm going to spin this around and I want to try the 22 mag segmenting from this side and see how that compares to the 22 long rifle. Really interesting with... The 22 mag, the segmenting, there's our three, and they did not segment. They did have pretty decent penetration, but they didn't segment, um, which would defeat the whole purpose, I think, really, of using them compared to the punch. We'll have to add it all up and see what they had for penetration. So we have, you know, nine and a quarter. We have nine and we have eight and a half for the segmenting without segmenting. There you go, folks. It is what it is. You decide what you think. So what is the bottom line? You know, I think both are suitable for self-defense, especially if the person is not comfortable with carrying a larger, more powerful caliber. 
The shorter the barrel, the less difference there is between the two. If you're going to carry the larger gun, the 22 mag has notably more punch, but more recoil and costs a lot more for ammo, which can affect your ability to practice, practice, practice. Now with the really short pocket revolvers, much less difference. And I would personally go with the 22 long rifle with this over the mag any day. Anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. This really does help the most. Until next time, happy shooting. Remember, educate our young people to shooting and gun safety. And if we're out shooting, everybody's watching us. That makes you and me ambassadors for the Second Amendment. So be a good ambassador. Be a safe and responsible gun owner.